there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the texture shell stitch. And this is an easy four row repeat that looks great from both sides, uh, which means you can use it for blankets, garments and any project uh, where you need uh, both sides to look great. And I have made some samples for this video. Uh, this, these two are in one color, so you can just see the overall texture of it. And then uh, one using multiple colors, so you can see the stitch definition and how it will look like. This is the back, and um, I have changed colors every two rows. And this is how it looks like. And today I'm going to teach you how to crochet it. For this tutorial, I am using a run yarn and a 5mm crochet hook and the pattern requires you to have multiples of 6 chains plus 2. My starting chain has 32. So let's start with row 1 and we will single crochet into the second chain from hook. And then we will make a single crochet in every single stitch across. And this is your first row. Chain one and turn. And this does not count as a stitch, it's a turning stitch. Now we are starting uh, row two with a single crochet in the first stitch. Then we chain two. And make a shell and to make a shell yarn over insert your hook into the next available stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and leave it on your hook then yarn over again go into the next stitch insert your hook and pull up a loop and we leave those loops on the hook again and we do this five times in total so three more times we pull up a loop from each of those stitches. So we have four and five. And now we have 11 loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all those loops. And this is how the shell looks like. It's like a poof stitch, but made in different uh, stitches. Now we chain two and this is our repeat section from chain two, shell, chain two and a single crochet. And we repeat this set of stitches all the way until the end of your row. So let me show you one more repeat, chain two, shell. We yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over into the following stitch, yarn over, another loop, and so on five times in total. That's four and five. And then yarn over and pull through all those loops. And we have our shell, then chain two, and single crochet. And like I said, repeat that until the end of the row. And this is your second row. Chain one and turn and we will start row three. 
uh, and stitches in this row are all made in the back loop only. If, and if you're not familiar with the front and back loops of a stitch, uh, the stitch looks like this, like a V with two loops. The loop that is right in front of you, it's called the front loop and the loop that is away from you, it's called the back loop. And we will be working in these back loops only. So we start row three by making a single crochet in the back loop only. So insert your hook through the middle of the stitch and pick up that back loop and make a single crochet as usual. Then we crochet in the next two chains, the chains you made on row two, make a single crochet in each. Then a single crochet in a back loop only into the stitch below. And then um, this is your repeat section. So we single crochet in next two chains and back loop single crochet into the next stitch. And we repeat this across the row until the end of the row. So let me show you one more repeat. So we single crochet in the next two chains. So that's one. That is two. So we're not crocheting around it. We are inserting our hook into the chain as you'll do on uh, row one and crochet your single crochet. Do not make it through the loops like that. So we crocheted in the next two chains and single crochet in a back loop only into the next stitch, which is the single crochet below. Then again, another repeat, single crochet in next two chains and then single crochet in a back loop only which is the shell below and like I said repeat this until the end of the row And this is your third row. And this is how it looks like from the front. You can see the pattern coming up. Now let's start row four, chain one, turn. Does not count as a stitch. And then we make a half shell. And to do that, we are yarning over, insert the hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, again into the next stitch and into the third stitch and that's where we stop we're only making a half of a shell yarn over pull through all and then we chain two and single crochet into the next now chain two and make a shell yarn over Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and we do that five times in total. And it's four and then five. Yarn over pull through all the loops. Then <clears throat> chain two and single crochet in next. And this is your repeat section right here. Chain two shell, chain two, single crochet. And you repeat this all the way until you have three stitches left. Now, because we created a half shell, uh, the other shells are um, offset from the bottom ones and you'll create a nice pattern. So let me show you one more repeat. Chain two, shell, 
in the next five stitches that's number four and number five then yarn over pull through all loops on your hook chain two and single crochet and when you have four or three stitches left stop now I'll make this really quick and then I'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish row four okay so now at the end we have three stitches left we chain two and make a half shell and it's done just like the regular shell but in three stitches so that's one that is two that's the third one and then we pull through all now we're not gonna chain or do anything this is we're gonna leave it like this and this is our uh, fourth uh, row and we chain one and turn but this chain one does not count as a stitch is your turning stitch and now we turn and we're gonna start with row five on row five we work in the back loops again and we will start with a single crochet in a back loop only into the first stitch now remember this chain that we've made at the end is the turning chain we are not going to crochet into it we are going to crochet into the stitch that we've made which is the half shell so make a single crochet and then single crochet into the next two chains then again a single crochet in a back loop only which is this single crochet right here we make a single crochet there and this is your repeat section we are um, single crochet into the next two chains and then single crochet in the back loop only into the next stitch and remember we are not crocheting around the chain we are not crocheting into the chain space we are crocheting into the chain so you insert your hook into the chain and make the single crochet so another repeat single crochet in next two chains single crochet in a back loop only which is the shell below and we do this until the end of the row i'll just do this really quick and meet you at the end of the row to show you how to continue and this is the fifth row from the back this is how it looks like from the front and now you can see how the shells are offset I'm gonna show you one more row and tell you what are the repeat rows chain one and turn and make a single crochet in the first stitch then we chain two and make a shell So that's loops drawn from next five stitches keep them all on your hook all 11 and then yarn over pull through all at once then chain two and single crochet into the next and again this is your repeat section right here chain two shell chain two single crochet repeat this until the end of your row again i'll show you one more repeat and then i'll just speed up 
to the end and tell you what rows to repeat until you have the desired length. We have three, four, and five. That's a shell, chain two, and single crochet. Do this until the end of your row. And this is your sixth row. This is how it looks like. And from the back, it's still pretty. And from this point on, uh, you repeat rows three to six. So uh, those are the last four rows right here where you single crochet and you do the row with a half shell. And then you single crochet again and do the row with the shells so um, you will have them all offset like this and you continue like that until you have the desired length to your project i hope my tutorial was easy to follow uh, if you have any questions about this pattern put them in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to answer you happy crocheting